Hi, my name is Philip and in this short video I'm going to introduce you to some of the key concepts in analysis organisation. We'll start by getting you familiar with what analysis organisation is and then we'll move on to explaining how and just as importantly why you might want to incorporate it into your day-to-day -day workflow. This video has four key learning objectives. By the end of the video, you should understand what analysis organization is, how it relates to data management, what best practices in this space look like. And finally, we want you to have an idea of how you might get started on organizing your analyses today. By way of introduction, consider the following example. Have you ever had to go back to a piece of work you thought you had finished and found that you can't reproduce your results? Perhaps it's that you can't tweak one of the parameters that the reviewer thinks may have unforeseen importance. If so, this might just be the video for you. With strict analysis organization, one can mitigate the risk of lost information or value. We borrow ideas from software engineering, as well as practices established within the open data community, such as FAIR. So how does one organize their analysis and data? Understandably, opinions can differ here, but some general principles remain consistent. Start by separating files into folders that describe the type of files they contain. A common setup for a project might have folders for the raw data, cleaned data, cleaning scripts, and analysis scripts. Within each of these folders, you should establish a strict naming convention. No more analysis script final v2. If files need a version, use version control. If files need names that indicate the order they should be run in, use a leading number such as 01. You can find more information about naming files in our RDM byte on this subject. Now this might all seem rather prescriptive, but a wealth of academic and industry experience indicates that approaches like these, while time consuming to set up, reap rewards extremely quickly. For example, I like to create a new script for each figure in a manuscript. That way, when someone suggests I change the axes on one of my figures, I know exactly which file to go into. Getting started can seem daunting. My suggestion is to allocate 10 minutes each day to improving your organisation. For many people, you'll spend the first few weeks deleting and renaming files. Then slowly, you'll start picking up good habits. A well-named file here, a better data pipeline there, and before you know it, you'll be drawing down the dividends of your hard work. Thank you for watching this RDM Byte. You can find more information, tips and tricks at the links in the description.